Hello, this is Anna with Art Unlimited. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to work on the gallery section of your WordPress blog. Let's go to your dashboard. When you log in, you're going to see the dashboard, and on the left, we have all of our menu settings. At the very bottom, you'll see a link called Gallery. Go ahead and click on the Gallery. And this is where we're going to be adding images. We're going to add a gallery, assign images to that gallery. So let's go ahead and open the add gallery slash images link. And you'll see what's come up here is we can create a new gallery. So let's go ahead and put a name to this. We're going to say it's B and B. And you'll see, make sure that you use the allowed characters for title and folder names. And that's right there. It's no spaces. So we can use upper and lowercase. B and N, Barnes and Noble. We're going to go ahead and add this gallery. and you can see that our gallery has been successfully created. So the next step is now that we've added the gallery we're going to upload a zip file. So we're going to click on that tab and we need to select a folder that has been zipped up. So let's go ahead and look at our desktop and you'll see I have the KS for Kids Foundation files here and we have a, quite a few different images that we would like to put on the um, gallery for this event. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this window open, remain on my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to just call this B and N Gallery. I'm going to keep it one solid word, no spaces. I'm going to take and I'm going to put these images over into this new folder. So now we're working on the BNN gallery right here. So now that we're working with our BNN gallery, let's go ahead and right click on your mouse. We want to compress this. B and N gallery. What we're doing is we're creating a zip folder which was just created here. Again it's very simple simply highlight the folder that you put your images in right click and we're going to compress it what we just did here. So let's go back to our gallery application choose our file and on our desktop you'll see we have a B and N gallery zip folder. We'll go ahead and choose that. Select it. We're going to drop down that we want it assigned to the BNN gallery that we had just created. We're going to select Start Upload. But these files, it's putting the collection of images that we just zipped up and it's writing them to the server that um, we would like them assigned to the BNN gallery. And you can see that we put 15 photos, we're at 60% and rolling. And we have just uploaded those photos into the gallery. So now that we have created a gallery, we've uploaded files, we've zipped up a folder, let's go ahead and insert that gallery into a post. You can insert it into a post, you can insert it into a page, whatever you'd like to do. Let's go ahead and insert this into the Celebrate Children and Books. Okay, so we have our Barnes & Noble um, post here. And you'll notice on our icons that we have here, 
we have to the far right-hand side of our top menu an icon that says Add Next Gen Gallery. We want to click that and you'll see a small window appears and what we want to do is we simply want to collect our BNN gallery that we created. We want an image list and we're going to go ahead and insert that into our post. You'll, what you'll see here is a, simply a snippet of code that is telling the database to once this page or post loads to go gather those images and display them on this um, post. So now you have inserted a gallery into your post. Make sure to publish this to the server. We have now just finished publishing this to the server. Let's go ahead and view this post in action. Perfect. What we have coming up here at fairly nice load time, not too long, is a really nice, very simple gallery that displays all of the images we've just put up on the website. Let's click the first one here and you'll see got and it pops up a larger view. We can scroll through, we can see some of the cute images, or we can close it and go back. So this is how you go through, you create a gallery, and you add it to the website.